Ah. Gosh. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play. Today we're just messing around the world, getting stuff done as usual. No big projects, I just got some little things to do here and there and I thought, why not record it? Because, well, it's kind of my job, so... <laughs> Mr. Dr. Professor Dallas. <laughs> uh, got some glass in here. I don't know why I'm putting on my billet. Where's my crafting table? Odd. I'm gonna go ahead and make our... See, the thing about the beacon is I think I want to make the maximum beacon, which is, I think, four of these on one giant beacon, which would be pretty cool. I don't know where I'd put it, though. One can go here for now. So, believe it or not, Dallas wants to work on the mansion today, so that is what we're gonna do. By the way, I've been kind of, like, doing this in here, too. As you know, if you put the loom sideways, it looks like an empty bookshelf. I've been doing that all over the place. Kind of divides up some of the main color of the bookshelves a bit. And I, I kind of want to put, like, start storing paper and books in there as well. That would be pretty handy. But one room I kind of want to work on today is my closet. So, for a long time now, I've been wanting to make a closet. And this closet is going to hold all my everyday items. Instead of just having it in my ender chest or the chest in my armor room because I can't fit them, I want to have an actual working closet. And I don't know how big, probably something like this big, but I don't know if I want it here. I got to figure it out. Oh, yeah, look, these are my tapestry. Well, this is my quilt. I bought that on eBay. Uh, cost like, I think, like 20 diamonds, but it was worth it. I mean, I've always wanted a quilt in there. Um, and this one is pretty nice because birds. You know what? Screw it. That's a that's like a really good spot. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that. So this is my office. I'm gonna be here like all the time, and just this one room over is perfect. And it is the perfect size. Got a nice window in it for some lighting. Um, I'm gonna put uh, that glowstone up here for lighting in here. But I want a shelf right here. Let's turn this into our closet. That's my goal for today. Not the only thing though. Um, I do want to go to the Nether to get some more of these. I miss the feeling of vulnerability, so I've been wandering around without my armor on, and I actually kind of like it. It just feels like I'm human again. Or, I'm slime. I'm slime. Uh, <laughs> look at these. These are in the uh, painting texture pack as well. Got little tools right there. Got little swords, Rick, garden over the place, even though I don't want them to. Okay, so I'm going to go to the nether first. I'm just going to grab some glowstone here and there. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in there. Uh, do I have... Oh. What's that sound? Heard it sound? No, my villagers despawned. Crap. Oh, well. All right, um... Fire protection. Fire protection. I actually found some diamond gear that we got from our recent end visit that has fire protection on it. I wouldn't mind putting uh, feather falling on the boots because that would make sense for the nether as you fall a lot. Oh my god. Hello. Hey, look. It's the bloody axe. You're an OG if you remember that. Oh, good lord. Just one second. I'll kill you in a second. Just hang on. Just hang on! Thank you. You want to know what the most annoying thing in the world is? This parrot right here. Because he acts like there's a zombie villager nearby, and he's been doing this for, like, ever since I got him. And I've spent my time... There's chickens back here. They've been there forever. But I can never, ever find where this zombie is. I've looked everywhere in the proximity of this area, and uh, there's just nowhere to be found. I don't know where else to look. He's not in there. Not down here. It's so weird. I want to try something. This probably isn't the proper door to do it on. Nope. That looked kind of cool, though. Uh, nope. Oh, drain pipe. Oh, I need to go... That. Oh, look at that. That would be cool to have on, uh, you know, the spruce door. Even though it does that, but it looks cool. <laughs> oh, Roach Buddy, it's been too long. I've been flying everywhere, neglecting my horses. Can I get through here? possibly. <laughs> That's the thing. I've been running around for the past like 20 minutes looking for my redstone chest. Wait, are they fixed? They fixed them. Oh, sweet. You remember there was a glitch on them where they would open and close constantly. Here it is. Okay. 
Um, by the way, I, I think I want to come here next episode and work on this place. So I don't believe I've showed you guys this yet. This is uh, the ceiling of the first floor, and that is the floor of the second floor. So we have a lot of space in between here, and this is also good because we can add a lot more redstone projects. These kind of get in the way, but I think right around in here, next to the main like living room area and my study, I want to put that um, three bell dingy majingy thing, you know, when it turns day and night. So I kind of want to get that together too and make that. <laughs> Look, it's Pluto. Pluto got big. I actually like that one a lot. It looks like the moon. <laughs> okay, so the closet's finished. I'm not going to show you yet, though. I want to go grab all the items that I think would go in my closet. Now, this isn't every powerful item I own. This is just stuff I use on the daily, and I just want to have in one area where I know it'll be when I want to switch out. Okay, so the more I kind of think about this closet, the more I think it'll be a kind of useless because most of the stuff I'm putting in here is normally in my ender chest which will just make it more of a hassle meaning I'll have to come over here constantly but it's nice knowing that I can have a closet Th these items won't stay in here all the time it's just a place to put some so this is kind of what I got so far I kind of like how it looks so this is like the item area um kind of like EDC if you know what that is like there's, there's even YouTube's based on that everyday carry which is stuff I'd carry almost every day and then I got like different weapons I can put over here I'll even store this in here probably um, and over here I'm I kind of just like this little closet these are the, going to be the main armor I wear um, these are my boots of the traveler and then right here I forgot about these for the longest time these just sat in a chest somewhere um, and these are the boots of the adventure and these are my basically the same as those but they don't have depth strider they have frost walker too and i've never really got to experience frost walker a whole lot so we could wear those sometimes elytra wings can go up there just got a little barrel can stick stuff in um it's not really finished I, i'm going to put more and more stuff in here that i kind of use a lot maybe more shelving on this but i like it i really like it it's turning out good yes oh gosh i i, I know i'm sorry i bought another thing off of ebay this one's a, um, I think it's from like 1700s, uh, a map of my land here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. My house is like right in there somewhere. Gonna mess with some lighting a bit more. At nighttime, it looks really good because as you can see, there's a lot of light coming through here right now because the, the sky is shining through. The, the lighting in this mansion is just perfect. I love it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up some of these other hallways. Yeah, you see, it's nighttime now. Look at the lighting of this place. It's absolutely perfect. Um, oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. No, no, no. See, that's just what ruins everything. Bugs. That right there, where that I was just punching. I used to have an armor stand with a shield on it. No, I see I can't risk having this stuff on here <laughs> if that's just gonna disappear. Why is it disappearing? Do you guys know do zombies attack these things? I can't yeah, I can't have that stuff on there knowing that that's a bug in the game. Oh, and I have my dragon gear and my wither gear up there in armor stands. Oh god. Why would that disappear? That's so strange. This is some trippy stuff. I feel like I'm running a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> How on earth do you make this thing again? Oh, okay. So we need quartz for that and that. Okay. Little creepers. Oh. Okay, we're building the day-night jingle now. Um... I don't know how this is gonna go. There's not much room up here. It's kind of big. Hope these lights won't get in the way. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Last bit. There we go. Um, I believe that'll work. <laughs> I don't know why I used nether rack. That's all I had on me. Yeah, that's all. It, it fits in here, like actually perfectly. So, um, from now on, I need to put. Oh crap! I didn't think of that. Oh wait, no. I need to put the solar panel right here. Where can I put it at? Well. Nice going. To, I didn't even think about the solar panel situation. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Well, we can at least see if it works, right? That'll do. Okay. Boom.
Yeah, that works. I don't know if I like the piston sound or not. <laughs> After I do all of this, I'm just like, I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I just activated it again. Eh, the piston's all right. It makes it sound mechanical, like old school. The thing is, how am I gonna... Okay, if you guys have any ideas... Okay, so the solar panel's over here. I know I could probably connect redstone to it, but I know there's like some sort of trickery where this only gives off a certain amount of redstone signal. How can I... I wonder if I can just expand it to like right here. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try it right here. These daylight sensors are kind of overly complicated. More than they should be, I believe. I know they give off like little pulses every time the sun's a different area in the sky or something but it shouldn't be that complicated to be honest it should just where can i put this at no oh, just put it there for now um but it should, i think i know it'd be overly simple but it would make it so much more useful where it should just give off one tick when it turns like daytime and then one tick when it turns nighttime um and I'm, i know there's a way to do that possibly but it requires a lot of redstone and well i don't have that much space up there so currently the layout of the second floor is kind of complicated. Um, so I still think I want this to be like my master bedroom. I just don't like the wallpaper I chose. Uh, blocks. I don't know. Red just seems a little weird. You know what I would like though is the mushroom red block. But you can't get it anymore. You go to mine it and it just turns into this block over here. Which is stupid. <laughs> this one right here. All God turns into oh my god oh i'm just getting so annoyed by the small things i'm sorry i'm sorry let me get rid of that i hate that so much i've done that so many times in this place <sighs> anyway um so all this gap right here these are gonna be rooms over this way i was thinking about making this like a room around here but uh, i need to connect it with that to the main part or the yeah the main part of the house so we're gonna have like a bridge slowly leading up this way which is gonna be the hallway continued that's gonna be a little weird to design because it's all next to that it's just oh it's kind of a mess right now and this is gonna be one long hallway these are gonna be rooms on the side right here and then wait I'm so confused why did I hear a See, I'm, see, I just don't, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't understand solar panels. I thought they were way different than I thought, but they give off a pulse every few seconds, every time the, like, moon shifts or the planet, so to speak, in my world. <laughs> nope, stop it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to make that pulse in a way I want to. Stop. <laughs> oh, God, redstone. So stupid sometimes. <laughs> You know, I actually want to sit on my couch. Is there a way I can implement? I know I have, I'd have to get rid of that. I want to put like mine carts or something here. I want to be able to sit at my couch. I don't want to just stand on it. There we go. People won't suspect a thing. <laughs> it's just so stupid. <laughs> Got lanterns in this room. Got them in here as well. I kind of need them on these walls because that doesn't give off enough light. Question is, do I want to do lanterns in here? Oh, I can't even... Oh, you kidding? How did I do this? Oh, I did the roof wrong. Oh, crap. Gosh dang it. Well, I could put them on this, I guess. It look kind of weird, though. Wouldn't it? Should I do it like this? Oh, God. I'm already doing it. No going back. Well, I can't go back. I just choose not to. Ha! That looks stupid. <laughs> no, it doesn't look stupid. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> Today's comment question of the day comes from Hunter. What keeps you motivated to continue this LP besides having to upload it to YouTube? I noticed something. Oh, I can't edit it. Well, let me close that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give um, I'll answer that in a second. Hang on. I was like typing it and then, okay, so if I go enter, 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 enter. Okay, normally the bottom of the page would be right here. What? Over here, let me, hang on. Yeah, let's me go down. I'm typing. What's happening? Okay, it's just glitched out. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, episode 258. What? What is it? What keeps me motivated um, besides uploading YouTube? Um, now, I picked this question because, well, YouTube is my motivator. <laughs> I mean, actually, you guys don't even know this. When Sometimes when I'm bored, I mean, I get on this world, but 
thing is, like, it is for YouTube. That's the thing. A lot of people always ask me that. Like, well, how do I continue a world? It's simply YouTube. I mean, there's no way on earth I'd still have this world if I never did YouTube. <laughs> well, for instance, that, duh, because I would have never started this world. But if I started this world, I'd say, without starting YouTube, I wouldn't. It would probably have lasted to do a week or a month or something like that. It's because I don't have a goal normally in a minecraft world i usually i do and it would build a big house and i i already got to the point on here where i was rich and i, I still am and i've reached the goals i beat the end already and done that i would have been done by now but it is on youtube so i have an audience to entertain and and you guys oh, want to see this series so that's kind of it and if you want to do the same just start a youtube channel it's simple as that uh i realize i shouldn't have named him timmy tim because that's a a calico colored cat is that a cal calico calico colored cat? and they're always females <laughs> so um but yeah if you want to do that just you have to start a, you don't have to you can be motivated on a minecraft world without uploading but having a youtube channel helps sorry i was looking at something um oh speaking of something let's go ahead up here real quick um i hope i answered your question did i <laughs> so this right here i don't even know if i still want this to be my bedroom Oh, I forgot I got stuff in here. Anything useful? Not really. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I just never come up there. It's kind of annoying. I want to check on this lady real quick. So, I learned from Slime Swine. And yes, we'll be uploading that soon again. It's just... We just haven't been yet. Yeah, Ocean Explorer map. So, now that she has unlocked that, she won't have a Woodland Explorer map. Which is kind of annoying. Um, so, how... I've been having a trouble, though. I can't get rid of her profession. Okay, maybe I need to place something down that's a different profession. I just realized, too, when are they going to finish this freaking beta? You know what I mean? I've been stuck on it forever. And even that work, work table, that smithing table, that it still doesn't even have a GUI in it. It seems like, are they just, what are they doing? <laughs> I know they got all these other games coming out, but, I mean, it's kind of annoying considering I'm still stuck on this beta. I just want to get out of it. I'm so tired of all the bugs and stuff. I need to get that cartographer table. And it's on the other side. Awesome. Okay. Anyway, just take that and change your profession. Please? Why are you so annoying? I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I did. Um, come on. Okay, Bertha. You continue scribbling on that piece of paper right there. What is that? Huh? What is that? Is that my name? Huh? Bartha? Is that a compass? Wait, are you planning on leaving me? <laughs> oh, Bertha. That's not Bertha. You're, you're little Patty. God dang. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right? Ooh, chicken ride into minecart. How cute. How cute. Look at him. That looks like a jungle edge back there, doesn't it? Jungle edges are rare. Alright. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, God! That's my flower. <laughs> I don't have... Should I fight him? Huh? You're in my house, dude. Where'd he go? Go! No, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. No! God, in my house! Oh, you son of a gun! Oh, you're oh, you're getting it now, buddy. You're getting it now. <laughs> Some got Max, and then you'll get it. <laughs> Where you at? Sorry, I'll end it in a second. Oh my! Yeah! God, you stupid. All for an enderpearl. <laughs>